Hi, I just want to welcome you to our Sunrider call, and today we're going to be discussing Sunrider, Sun Smile, Fruit and Vegetable Rinse. And here's the big bottle of it, and it goes a long way. Um, I have two guests today. I have Trudy Stolting and Jim Pendry, who both introduced me to, to Sunrider. And um, we've, we've been together as a team for to over 20 years now. So I've been using the Sunrider products for 20 years. And I'll first introduce Trudy, if you'll just tell your little background, and um, uh, then I'll have Jim tell his, a little bit of his background, and then we'll go into our subject of fruit and veggie rinse, please. So, Trudy. Thank you for inviting me, Diana. I started uh, enjoying the benefits of uh, eating the Sunrider, basic Sunrider Nourish Balance Cleanse Foods 21 years ago. In, and have just enjoyed the most amazing journey. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I just don't have that anymore. So it's been an amazing journey for me. Uh, I'm really excited that you've got Jim on the call today because he was the one I went and sat in the back of his meeting rooms and just absorbed all the information that he taught us, and uh, it's exciting that he's on the call. Jim, maybe you could tell us something about yourself. Well, uh, thanks, Trudy and Diana. Um, I started in Sunrider. I started consuming, uh, yeah, like 32 years ago. And uh, we were farmers in, in Saskatchewan and um, our health wasn't as good as we would have liked. And I grew up in a household. My mom was always a health nut. And um, so we started eating these foods. I'll, I'll just kind of cut to the chase. And I could not believe the changes in digestion and so many issues with our children and my wife. and. And it was life changing. And, and when it was so life changing, I thought, wow, people need to hear about this. So I researched it out a bit and I just said, this would make us such an amazing business. So I turned it into a business. So I've had a chance to coach people in their health and coach people in their businesses for all these years. And it's just the funnest career ever. You are so inspiring. Well, you both are. And I just feel privileged to be um, part of your Sunrider family. Um, and so today, well, my background is Trudy introduced me to, to Sunrider. We both worked at the um, Shushwap Lake General Hospital. And then Trudy was gone for a couple of years and, and not well. And then she came back and um, shared with me. And I thought I knew everything because I had already studied nutrition. And I um, at first didn't listen to her. And then after about a month, I, I says, okay, let me try one of those new plus. And, um, and the next day, I didn't have aches and pains in my hip. And then I went on to have uh, beautiful, even energy and uh, aches and pains gone and feeling uh, just vibrantly healthy so that's my story and then so 20 years later here we are and one of the um, amazing products there's really really nothing else like this on the market is sun smile fruit and vegetable rinse and what we want to cover is some of the benefits and how to use it um, now you, you you can get the smaller one. This goes a long way, and this is amazing for traveling. But it's unlike any other fruit and vegetable rinse that is now on the market. And I believe that um, Tefu Chan, the founder of Sunrider, developed this as a way. He he used this, and I, Jim will tell us more um, to clean all the stainless steel. Um, uh, machines that he has for making the herbs in, um, and processing the herbs in the big plant manufacturing plants that he has so um, Jim can tell us more about that part but in the in, around your house you just put in a couple of drops and I'll show a picture later often we do it with for a demo with the broccoli because it really shows up, even organic broccoli. You put a couple of drops of this in to a bowl and you do your demo and on the one side you'll see that the broccoli does not have, um, uh, like if you just put it in water, it, it still looks all grungy. And you put it in fruit and veggie rinse and it's green and vibrant, plus the taste changes. So it just pulls out um, all the pesticides and the toxins that are in there. So, um, Jim, could you just tell us a little bit more about how um, 
Teifu Chan developed this product? Well, it, I'm not sure. You know, a lot of things that Dr. Chin has created was like a decade or more kind of in development. Right? And a lot of things he would think about them for a long time before we finally bring them out. And what I do know is that he developed uh, fruit and vegetable rinse and the super clean to clean his equipment because the, the health rules, the FDA rules in the, in the United States required him to clean his uh, equipment with certain chemicals and a certain standards, certain procedures had to be followed. But then once he used these chemicals or cleaning solutions that he was required to use, he wound up with having to deal with all that. So then he had to steam all this out of there to try to get all those chemicals out. And he's like, this is crazy. So he developed fruit and vegetable rinse to kill bacteria and sun smell the, the super clean to clean. And so then he never had to use those chemicals anymore. So that's kind of where it started. And then um, I remember uh, when he was talking about how good they used it, or how good they were and how effective they were and how safe they were. Um, and one of his uh, daughters had broke their leg and they, you know, to have a bath is very difficult when you have a broken leg and they would soak her in the tub with fruit and vegetable ritz. That's how Chin believed it was so safe. And so um, when it was explained to us that fruit and vegetable ritz kills bacteria and it it neutralizes chemicals. So it's like, as a farmer, I was like, okay, let me check this out. Let me figure this out. And I was amazed. Like you could put a few drops in a stinky garbage can with a little bit of water and rinse it around and not even wipe it out, just rinse it, you know, and shake it and rinse it out. And it would just smell like plastic. I was, I could not believe how this stuff could kill bacteria, but yet it's, it, it's, it's kind of like safe to use internal. It doesn't say that on the bottle, but, um, um, it's just such a great product for that. And so as a, as a farmer, of course, we would, you know, spray chemicals. And so you're always trying to neutralize these chemicals and there was nothing to do that with. So after this product came out, even for just spraying around the yard or whatever, I could spray, I could clean my equipment with it. I could clean my hands with it, everything. And you know, boom, it's gone. It neutralizes that chemical. Uh, it's so effective for that. And, uh, Trudy or I had mentioned a story or maybe it was Diana a, a years ago, I did a, a meeting where I had some gasoline and, and gasoline is a really uh, strong chemical in its smell. And if you get gas on your hands, it takes a while to get rid of that. It goes deep into the pores. So you can use fruit and, fruit and vegetable rinse directly on your skin. And it might make two, it might take two or three applications but to kill that smell, but it's the only thing I know of that would do it. So if I ever have to get gas on anything or accidentally get gas from cutting the lawn or whatever, uh, that's the first thing I go to is fruit and vegetable rinse to get rid of that smell. It just has so many applications, kills bacteria, neutralizes chemicals. Um, any the, you know, you have something that happens with a dog, she has an accident or whatever, out comes a super clean and the fruit and vegetable rinse because you know it's going to deal with the issue. Absolutely. And, yeah, and, and um, you also... Uh, I remember a story from you, Jim, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but you said that when you go on, on trips, like to other countries, that you use this, um, you make sure you have this for many reasons, and one of them was cleaning the counters. <laughs> oh my God, this fruit and vegetable rinse, I tell you, the stories that I have, uh, I've done a lot of world travel into third world countries, and um, and sometimes it's just Mexico, but I've I've picked up, you know, bugs in these different countries and it's never pretty. And um, so when I go to Mexico or someplace like that, and if it has a kitchenette, the first thing I do is I create a clean zone. So I take some fruit and vegetable rinse. I'll clean the counter and all the dishes and, you know, I'll just create this clean zone. And then um, I know it's not, doesn't say this on the label and maybe we can't really legally say this, but I, I'll put a few drops in my glass of water and I'll do that two or three times a day. And it, it just kills parasites and it just deals with bacteria and, uh, and issues like that. So I use it for, for situations like that. And even if I uh, get food poisoning, it's the first thing I go to is I'll have a few uh, shot of that and a little bit of water and drink that and then have a Vitadopolis afterwards. And I, I tell you, you can shave hours or days off a bad uh, food poisoning uh, boat if you get on it right away and do that it's just to me it's just the product that always comes with me no matter what i'm doing and i mentioned to the gals at the beginning of the call that uh i even find it's the best thing to use on uh, on your feet 
when you go to bed at night, it makes them soft and it also kills all the bacteria or any fungus you have on your feet, athlete's foot and whatnot. And it's just overall, it's an amazing product. Amazing. Oh, I love it. You have so many stories and, and this is, um, there's nothing else like it on the market. I've never seen anything like it, never heard of anything. And like for athlete's foot, um, and for cuts and scrapes, you just put it on and it all bubbles, it bubbles up, but it's healing it. And, and uh, Trudy, I'm sure, has stories on this. Tell I'm us. just laughing because people need to know that it's really great for washing your fruits and vegetables with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I do is I buy my produce and I <laughs> just fill the sink with about two or three inches of water. I take a, a cap full of fruit and vegetable rinse, put it into the water, and I wash everything through that. I wash the broccoli, the cauliflower, the lettuce, the tomatoes, the uh, cucumber, zucchini, whatever I had purchased goes washed through that. I just set it on clean towels to dry, and then I refrigerate it. I love this product. I will not travel without it. As a matter of fact, this seems to be my travel packs. <laughs> um, I, I just love it. Sore throat, I put a little bit in water and I gargle with it and your sore, it just, my sore throat will just be gone. But it is amazing for washing your produce. And part of the things that's uh, really, really good is you've probably heard on the news of people uh, picking up, you know, E. coli infections from eating spinach at a whatever, right? I just wash everything through it. I even uh, wash nuts when I buy like raw almonds and raw cashews. I'll put them in water. I'll put some fruit and veggie rinse in it. Let it sit for five or six minutes. Just soak all the bacteria and uh, mold. Sometimes mold grows on outside of nuts. Yeah. Washes that all off. I rinse them. I just put them on a cookie sheet. Put them in the oven to dry just on warm. And uh, they're absolutely delicious. And the difference in taste before washing and after is just absolutely stunning so it really is great uh, fruit and veggie rinse is really great for cleaning away external parasites harmful bacteria i even you know if i'm going to cook a turkey for thanksgiving i will put that water in the sink a good squirt of fruit and veggie rinse in and i wash the turkey in it i literally will wash the turkey in and out of it, it seems to tenderize the meat it's delicious and i know that there's no harmful bacteria left on that or that parasites yeah, it works so good. Anytime any meat has to go in the in the uh, sink, like a turkey, yeah. fruit and vegetable rinse, always a big squirt of that goes in there. Yeah. If you have to thaw out uh, some meat because it's frozen and it happens to go in the sink with a bit of water, in goes the squirt of veggie rinse. Even though I clean the sink out ahead of time, it just makes yeah. sure there's no bacteria there. And if anybody has a cold in your house, same thing. I wash the dishes. I, I don't have a dishwasher. Well, I do. His name is Rye. <laughs> um, but in the, in the rinse sink, we'll put a good squirt of fruit and veggie rinse and all the dishes just sit in there for a few minutes before they go in the drain board and you know there's no bacteria or, uh, you know, stuff left on it from whomever was over visiting that may have a cold or flu or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm sure glad you brought us back to our senses and for, for what this is <laughs> it's created for. There's just so many other uses. And I'm going to bring up another use that I only just remembered. Um, lice this yeah. this yeah. is a proven way um in fact my sister goldie i should have had her on the call she she helped um the school locally this was about 10 years ago um she took this into the school and they actually used it because they had a really big big outbreak and um were using chemical chemicals and that even that wasn't working and um so it, it just kill it kills the the lice and the 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 new the newborns i think it put it um gets the larvae the, the larvae yeah so yeah and and how it does that is just so we're clear that the the vegerins can't kill anything by itself but mm -hmm. some uh like slugs they use mucus to protect themselves from the environment mm -hmm. so it, the lice so this breaks through the mucus right so okay. then your environment or your immune system or whatever it just kills it Amazing, amazing. So and it works great on slugs. Saying that, it's, uh, it's not a pretty sight when if you squirt some of that on a slug. Ah, there you go. And it's, it's non-toxic to our body. Absolutely wonderful. What's in it, Diana? You know, um, what, what's in it? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> I bet you Jim knows. Jim, well, do you know? 
the the actual the names they use um, uh, are pretend or they're like complicated names, but I I think I was told it comes from coconut and corn. That's right. right. And then I think there might be even hydrogen peroxide, but they don't mention that in here. But that might be part part of it. But it's almost like a secret formula. But it's all, um, yeah. It does. It doesn't have it listed that I can see on here. But coconut and corn. Um, I, I remember that being described. Yeah. Even though they it, they have different words for it. So and it yeah it comes in the two different sizes. And there's a, a few other suggestions here. Clean utensils and wipe down countertops. Um, you can use it when bathing pets to get rid of fleas and lice. So yeah, that's all yeah. right. Yeah. And uh, furnace and, um, and other vents to cut down on mold and dust mites. So there's, a, there's many, many uses for it. Now, if you, you know, uh, this is like a, a subject that maybe people come across more than anything. You, you get something that's like stinky, like a, a, a towel, a beach towel or uh, a gym bag or some stinky socks or some stinky shoes or whatever. What do you do? You try to spray something on it to make ah. it go away or whatever. Like, what do you really do? And to me, everything goes in the, in the laundry, you know, hiking boots, runners, you know, everything. And if you get something that's really stinky, you know, I remember as a kid and, and when my girls were young and some of their guy friends or whatever come around, it's like their shoes would just stink up the neighborhood, let alone your house. And, uh, you know, what I would do with my girls from being in sports and my own shoes and stuff, they just go in the wash, squirt a veggie and super clean, boom, they come out of there smelling like brand new because it kills bacteria. Uh, this is like a big issue. You, you stay at other people's houses and sometimes you'll, They'll use a towel once and it gets that musty smell to it. Yeah. Like the super clean, it just deals with all that. Um, yeah. So the, the um, using the Sunrider super clean plus fruit and veggie rinse. See, I've never done that, but that's what a great idea. So you all add the fruit and veggie rinse to when the, the go, when, when the going gets tough, I add veggie rinse to it. But normally super clean by itself will deal with a lot of those issues. Okay, great. Something extra smelly, smelly dog, you know, anything. They get washed with a bit of vegerants, and it's just it just makes life it it makes it really easy to keep things clean. Fabulous. And there was one more story. I know we covered a lot of areas. Oh yeah, we've got time. I um I I always buy almonds from this one health food store, and I buy the natural almonds. I don't buy the organic ones. They just seem like outrageously uh, priced. And um, the natural ones, I can just feel they make me feel good. But sometimes the batch is like it's got dirt all over it. You can just you know, and I. I eat, I eat almonds enough that I sometimes I get lazy and I don't wash them. So I washed the almonds in just water to see, and a little bit of dirt came off, just to, so I could have a fair comparison. And then I put some fruit and vegetable rinse in there and I rewashed them. I could not believe the color of the water. And so it's not as if it, it just cleans things that would have fallen off anyway. Like it, there's something special in fruit and vegetable rinse that they cleans things even the, yeah. even on, on almonds and um it cleans fruit and vegetable rinses like because it neutralizes the chemicals and it helps to break down that wax and it's just it does so many things uh that you just can't expect out of a soap you know some people say well i'll just use soap on my fruits fruits and vegetables but it just does so much more and it's so well priced, like a little bottle of fruit and vegetable rinse is uh, what is, I don't even know is it five or six dollars something like that. Yeah, I think it's about seven dollars. Yeah, for this little one, and it goes a long way. It's so concentrated. Yeah, and, and a big you buy the big one yeah. and fill the little one up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's um, it's amazing. So does anyone else? Um, do either of you have uh, anything else on this um, um, before we open it up for questions? We could pretty, pretty much keep going for a couple hours with all the stories and things we've used for adventurance for. We I forgot could. my toothpaste once when I was traveling. I just put a couple drops of my toothbrush and brushed my teeth with it. It did taste a little soapy, but my teeth were really clean after. And, and honestly, I, my mouth was so fresh and it felt great. So, yeah, I, I, I just... I traveled with that, you know, so I forgot the toothpaste, but I didn't forget my fruit and veggie rinse. <laughs> right. That's, that's another topic when you're traveling. Now, you know, this is may sound a little bit weird, but you know, when you're traveling to a hot place or whatever, you, you, you put a little body odor. 
I remember one time I ran out of the, the Sunrider underarm deodorant because it kind of is based on fruit and vegetable rinse also because it kills bacteria. And I forgot mine. I was in Mexico and I started getting this body odor in my armpits and I just couldn't seem to kill it. Like I bought underarm deodorants, but they just kind of mask it over, right? And uh, I had some fruit and vegetable rinse and I was like, that's it. And so I just put some of my hands and I just rubbed some in my armpits and boom, like it was gone. And then it never came back the whole trip. I just had to be, somehow there was a bacteria there that had to be killed. Amazing. Yeah. I knew you'd amazing. have amazing stories. <laughs> and, um, uh, and these are things that nobody would be thinking about. So I, I love it. <laughs> so it's a great product. Like all of our products, they're so great. And some of us are creative and we think, well, I bet if it works for that, it would work for this. And yeah. <laughs> and uh, with, with Sunrider being a food company, we don't have to worry about having some toxic reaction or something. Yeah. It's like we can experiment with anything, with our pets, with our babies, with everything, right? So yeah. it just makes it so cool. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. You guys are so amazing. Does anyone have any questions? We're open for that now, or we will end the meeting because it's, uh, yeah, it's been about 20 minutes. So if you're, um, Trudy, do you have anything else? Lots, but I'm going to hold it in, Diana. This is just one of my absolute favorite products. It is. Yeah, you really, you both really did good. it justice, and I just appreciate the sh Jim only had 15 minutes notice, and here he came already. <laughs> well, so. I didn't have to plan a bit. I just had to show up. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so yeah. much. Have a fantastic week and um, make sure that you get back to the person that told you about fruit and veggie rinse and order yourself a great big bottle. <laughs> okay. Thank Bye you, Diana. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.